Nursing homes are at risk of becoming hotspots for drug-resistant superbugs. The reason? Patients being prescribed antibiotics when they don't need them. A study in today's Medical Journal of Australia says more than one-third of nursing home residents may fall into that category, leaving them vulnerable to superbugs developing. Medical reporter Sophie Scott has the story. To minimise the risk of developing drug-resistant superbugs, there are national guidelines on when antibiotics should be prescribed. A new report suggests that in nursing homes, that advice is being ignored. Of the antibiotics that were prescribed to these residents, about 40% uh, of them uh, didn't have much in the way of symptoms and signs of infection. The study found in nearly all cases of bronchitis, antibiotics were prescribed without proper testing. It found only a third of patients had samples taken to confirm they had an infection. Doctors are concerned that nursing homes will become a reservoir for multi-resistant organisms. We probably use twice as many antibiotics in people as we need to. So this example in a nursing home just reinforces that view that we need to be much more careful with antibiotics. There's not new ones coming, so we have to preserve the ones we've got for as long as possible. There are probably about um, 200,000 Australians that uh, live in uh, nursing homes. And if you multiply what we found in this uh, relatively small study out to this population, that that represents quite a lot of antibiotic use. The Nursing Home Association wasn't available for comment. In addition, experts say the use of antibiotics in farmed animals needs to be reduced. We can get this usage down markedly and that has not only benefits to the animal industry, it has benefits to people because less resistant bacteria then come through the food chain. Infectious diseases experts want an Australian Centre for Disease Control to better monitor the spread of superbugs. Sophie Scott, ABC News.